Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to integrate WISE into your Unity projects. I've seen a lot of videos that show you how to integrate WISE with Unity, however most of them i found are outdated. WISE has a new and easier way for you to integrate WISE with your Unity projects utilizing the WISE launcher. We're going to be downloading Unity, and then downloading WISE, and then we're going to create a new Unity project. After that, we're going to integrate that project with WISE. And then we're going to test both the Unity project and the WISE project to make sure that our integration is working. As always, you can click on the time hacks below in the description field in order to skip around to different parts of the video. If you already have Unity and WISE, you might want to skip ahead in the video to where we start integrating WISE with Unity. First, we'll need to download Unity. Go ahead and Google Unity Download. Click on the first link in the results. Then click Choose Your Unity Download. In the Download options, you're generally going to choose the free version for non-commercial projects. Go ahead and click Try Personal. Click on the confirmation checkbox, and then click Download Installer. Once you do that, the installer will be downloaded to your machine. Open it, and you'll be guided through several options which will help you to download Unity onto your system. Once that's finished, we're going to need to download WISE. So once again, go to Google and Google WISE Installer. Click on the first link in the results. You will then click Download WISE Launcher. The WISE Launcher will then be downloaded to your system. Once the WISE Launcher is downloaded, it will open on your screen and prompt you to download WISE. Click on the button that says Install WISE. Once you do so, in the launcher under the WISE tab, the section titled Versions Installed will be populated with the latest version of WISE. You can install older versions of WISE by clicking on the drop down under the Install New Version section and choosing the version that you'd like to install. Now we're ready to integrate WISE with Unity. However, before we can do so, we need to log into the WISE launcher with our audio kinetic credentials. Click Login. If you don't have an account, you can click Sign Up Now to create an account. If you do have an account, log in with your email and password. Let's go ahead and open up Unity and create a new Unity project. Once Unity is open, sign in with your Unity credentials. If you don't have a Unity ID already, go ahead and click on the Create One link. If you do have a Unity ID, go ahead and enter your email and password to sign in. Once you've signed into Unity, go ahead and click on the New link to create a new Unity project. Name the project whatever you like. I'm going to call mine Unity Wise Test. Then choose the location of your new Unity project. I'm going to create my new Unity project on the desktop so it's easy to find. Once you're done, click Create Project. Now that our new Unity project is set up, let's close Unity so that we can integrate WISE with our new Unity project. Now that we're ready to integrate WISE with our new Unity project, let's go ahead and open up the WISE launcher. Once the WISE launcher is open, go ahead and click on the Unity tab at the top of the WISE launcher. Here you can see that the new project I set up called Unity WISE Test has been detected. Go ahead and click Integrate WISE into Project. You'll then be presented with several options for your integration. The options you'll generally use most are the deployment platforms. For example, if you're going to be deploying to Android, you'll select the Android checkbox. If you're going to be building to iOS, you'll expand the Apple dropdown and click on the iOS checkbox. Apple Mac OS and Windows, Microsoft Windows, are selected by default. If you don't already have a WISE project created, the launcher will create one for you. Once you're all done choosing your options, go ahead and click on the Integrate button. The launcher will then go through the process of creating a new WISE project for you and integrating it with the Unity project that you specified. We are now going to run a test to ensure that WISE has been integrated into our Unity project successfully. By clicking on the Open in WISE button, this button will automatically open up the WISE project associated with and integrated with the Unity project we just created. Go ahead and click on Open in WISE. Go ahead and click Accept. 
In order to test the integration, we need to set up three things, a sound bank, an event, and then an audio object. Let's start by setting up a sound bank. Go ahead and click on the sound banks tab, click on the default work unit, and then click on create new sound bank. I'm gonna call this sound bank main. Then under events, I'm going to click on the default work unit and click on create new event. I'm gonna call this event test. Then in the audio tab, under the actor mixer hierarchy, I'm gonna click on the default work unit and click on create new sound effects. And I'm going to call this test. Under the contents editor, I'm going to click on add source and I'm going to choose wise sign. Then I'm going to test this object in my transport. As you can hear, this is just a simple sign tone. It's just a very quick way to get audio into WISE and thus into Unity. And then I'm going to press F7 to bring up the sound bank layout. Once I have the sound bank layout, I'm going to make sure and click the checkbox next to my default work unit in the sound banks window. I'm going to click the platform that I'm building for, and then I'm going to click on the checkbox next to the languages that I'm building for. Then I'm going to ensure that my test event is included in my sound bank. But to do that, I'm going to expand the default work unit, which will expose my sound bank that I've called main. And I'm going to drag my test event either over the main sound bank or into the hierarchy inclusion window. Once that's done, I'm going to hit Control S to save the project or go to project and click save. Now I'm gonna press F5 to bring up the designer layout and I'm gonna click on my test event. Now that that's done, I'm gonna click on the audio tab and drag my test audio object into the icon window under the event editor. This is going to ensure that the object is associated with the test event that I created. Then I'm gonna make sure that my test event is selected and test it in the transport. Now that we see that that's working and my sound bank is set up, I'm gonna click F7 again, once again, to bring up the sound bank layout. I see that my test event is associated with my sound bank. I'm gonna save my project once more and then click on generate to generate my sound banks. That's everything we need to do to set things up on the WISE side. Now we're going to click on the Open in Unity button in our WISE launcher to open up our Unity WISE test project. We could already see that our WISE integration is successful because a WISE picker will appear on the bottom of the editor. That's generally a pretty good indication that our integration is successful. On the WISE global object in the scene, go ahead and click on Add Component and then scroll down to WISE. Click AK Bank and we're going to add the bank that we created in our WISE project. Under bank name, select the sound bank which you created in WISE. I named mine main, so I select main and click OK. Now that that's done, I'm going to create an empty object in the scene, and I'm going to name it test audio. Then I'm going to add a component go to WISE and click AK Ambient. Go ahead and click on Add Rigid Body. Under Event Name, go ahead and select the test event that you created in WISE and click OK. I should be able to click play and hear my sign tone. And there you have it. As you heard, once the scene starts, once play mode begins, we hear our sign tone, which we created in WISE. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to check out my other videos, and of course, if you have questions, please leave them in the comments below.